Good morning, everyone. This is a bit of a earlier start than normal for me. You can see it's still pretty dark out. Got my Kubota here and my Bobcat T66 over there. I'm waiting for the truck driver to show up with the low boy. And there's our ride. I'll show you what we got going on. As you can see, I just got the equipment here, everything unloaded. What we're putting in is going to be called, well, the engineers are calling it an in, infiltration trench, which most people know as a dry well. It's going right here in this area. It's going to be six feet wide, two and a half feet deep, and um, I think about 125 feet long. So basically, I'm just making some piles. And Corey's taking the Bobcat. And they need to do some grading around the new new barn they built over there. You can see he's he's going over there and he's bringing it all over there by that barn. It is starting to rain, and since I'm such a nice guy, and Corey's doing such a good job running the Bobcat today, I'm gonna roll up his windows. What is this? He's driving with a hitch right at his feet? That's not safe, come on, dude. What's the matter with this guy? I'll show you what we have so far. I figured uh, the time lapse was uh, we were getting a little far away, but you could see we we're just about at the end. I would say I'm at about 100 feet down, or 100 feet in length. So, we have our trench completed. We needed to come down 123 feet. I think we're at about 126. We're a little further than we needed to be, but that's fine. Now you can see we're getting our fabric in. The fabric, this is, this is 12 foot wide, so I have about four feet on the bottom, three feet up the side, and then that leaves what? That's seven and another five feet over the top to overlap. And we're gonna grab this piece, slide it in, and do the same thing. Whew. That's loud. Beautiful. So I'm getting ready to backfill our trench here. Dry well, infiltration trench, whatever you want to call it. We just had our inspection. Guy came out, looked at the depth, checked out the pipe, made sure everything was good to go. And I'm going to fill it all the way up with this number three stone and then i'm going to wrap it like a burrito with this fabric and then it's just going to get topped with river rock My helper just showed up. You ready to work? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. You bring a shovel? <laughs> no, you didn't bring a shovel? That's the same look everybody gives me when I ask them if they brought a shovel. Even grown men say, did you bring a shovel? They look at me like I'm crazy. You know why? Cause, why? Because nobody likes digging. So we're gonna finish up. We got this last little bit to put our rock in here, yeah. right? Yeah. Sorry, I'm just eating some gum. Just like my dad. What'd you tell? Him? You chewing some gum? Mhm. Mm Let me get in first, bud. Okay.
Do not close the door. Can you get in with one hand? Yeah. See that? My dad found three horseshoes. Horseshoes. They're not horseshoe crabs. It's like the horseshoes that like horses wear. Alright, make sure you keep your feet in front so if we rock back and forth. And here's the finished product of our well never mind it's not it's not quite finished. Right now we, you're looking at a stone wrapped burrito, we'll call it. There is how much is in here? About 80 tons of drainage stone. And this is that heavy duty number six fabric. Overlapped by about two feet. You saw how much I had up on each side. This this section, you know, made it all the way down to there. You can see it's pretty far. This is just regular. This is just rock just sitting on top. Um, but yeah, now it needs six inches of uh, river rock. And I'm not sure if he wants to use three to five or five to eight. So we'll wait to see what he says. But that's it for this for now. I know I'm gonna be I'm gonna be back here to put this river rock. But then he's also talking about me digging a swale over there and getting all that rubble into that mason dumpster. Um, that was an add-on, and I'm kind of in a time crunch with another job, as I mentioned. Um, so I'm gonna have to come back for that. But the big thing was getting this in because they're gonna be putting in a fence on the outside of it. So now this is in place. They can put the fence in. I'm not holding those guys up, and uh, I got the crawl space and foundation dug up there so this job is a wrap